After the pandemic, I just realized you'll never know when your last day will be in campus, where people will see you last, so might as well wear something pretty. It's never wrong to dress up nice. As long as you're not wearing a gown to school, maybe. I'm finally back with another fashion video and for today I know we are going to do some face-to-face -face university classes with dress codes don't worry if you guys don't know me yet I actually have a very basic style but then at the same time very timeless sustainable but also not boring I try to keep it interesting with interesting pieces even if they're like you know minimal it always has like a twist to it. So expect that for my university OOTDs with dress codes mostly. It has to be after the knee which I kept in mind. No sleeveless and no crop tops or crop tops are allowed as long as no skin is seen. So stuff like that and then closed shoes of course. And I know it's a little early to release this video because the face-to-face -face classes will start sometime next year. I'm not really sure anymore. But I figured out that you guys might do some shopping during the holidays especially once you get a little moolah from your loved ones. Hopefully, so anyways, without further ado, let us be So first, let's start with something classic. So I know everyone has jeans in their closets and also like you're free to wear whatever jeans suits you. I did like a video about it, like whichever suits what body type and all. But anyways, whether it's ripped or not, because I know some schools don't allow the rips, I will use this today. I will go with this top. Now this is, I know, like a normal white top, but at the same time, it's something interesting, which is why I love it. I think I've worn this outfit before, so I'm gonna show. So here is the outfit. So I know it's just like plain white. Okay, not super plain, but you get the point. It's just a white top and some jeans, but at the same time, it's not that boring because I chose a top with some buttons. Well, you get the point. It's like, it's just not like a normal white top. And I like how it just falls right here. So it kind of covers like my belly, my lower belly, my poisson that's also bloated right now. And I would usually wear just this bag to school. And yes, if you're wondering, I also wear heels to school. But of course, you can wear sneakers with this one. You can also choose to do a front top or what they call a French top for this. In case you want to make your outfit a little more interesting, you can always do a French top. This is also another plain but interesting top. Like, it's nothing too boring with the whole... What do you call this? Ruffles? I don't know. With the whole flappy things on the side and also the mock neck with the... I don't know what you call it again. But you can always like tuck it in and it's going to look nice even if it's pretty much plain. I don't like just wearing like a normal like white crop top or like a black one especially with jeans because I'm gonna look super super normal. Well not that it's bad but I just like looking a little bit extra than the usual and so I like investing in these types of pieces so whenever I'm lazy I just pair it with some jeans and I look a little different in a good way. Okay, so here's the next outfit. Now, normally, I will not wear something like this. First, because it's black on black. Well, it's not that it's bad, but then, like, it's so boring. So, to spice it up and also to prevent this from happening, this is actually what I would wear at first. I used to study in DLSU, and the classrooms would be really, really cold. And then when you go outside for, like, lunch or something, it'll be super hot. So, I would wear something like this. So this accent top is perfect for something very simple, casual, which is like a pair of black jeans, which everyone has, and I paired it with sneakers because it matches it well. Then I'd still pair it with this bag. You can also pair it with like a tote bag or whatever bag you wanna wear, even a backpack, but I personally like shoulder bags. So this is what I would wear once it gets hot and stuff. And then I'd probably just, you know, carry this around with my bag which I think it still looks good because like at least it's not like all plain black even if I'm just holding it at least there's like other colors into my outfit just make sure that whether your jacket is on or open or off like taken off then your outfit should still look good and I think this one is not so bad it just looks better with this one for sure 
So here is the next outfit. Now I know for some of you this might be a little bit too much, but for me it's perfect, it's appropriate for sure. And also with this one, I'd like to let you guys know that the trick that I do is just to put it inside like that. And then it's all covered, you're not breaking any dress code. And I don't know, like I really like it. I think it's very presentable and I know that it's a little bit too glam, but for me it's just right. And you can pair it again with this bag. This is my usual bag, I swear. But you can also pair it with the tote bag over there. You can also style it like this if it's allowed in your school. In DLSU, this is allowed, like off shoulders and stuff. But then if not, you can always put it back up. And of course, if you're wearing white pants, don't forget to wear seamless and nude underwear to prevent you from getting called out for like wearing some printed underwear. So here's the outfit, very dressed down, casual, kind of like Korean vibes. And I super like it. It is probably the most comfortable outfit that I have or second to the most comfortable. And if you guys think that this is super simple, I mean, besides like the bag, this would be cuter with a tote bag over there, which is kind of lazy to get it, but this is super cute. And if you guys want to look cuter and a little less boring, you can always add a headband to your look. I just got this from Shopee also, super cheap. This one's from Linen Lab. I know if you guys have been following me, my videos are on Instagram. You would always know I always wear my Linen Lab trousers. But that's what sustainability is about, so please let me be. And it's really good quality, so I super love it. This one is from the Riri Star, another local brand. And I just really, really love this look. I think it's super simple, yet at the same time, it looks very put together. More than just like the color palette, I think it's really the silhouette of the clothes. How they fit, I think they fit me well according to like my body type and all. And of course, since it's a little bit thin, if it gets cold in the classroom, you can always pair it with a cropped sweater. I've also shown this before. This one is from one of my Shopee hauls. And let me just show you how it's going to look. It's still comfortable and I think the headband is such a plus. So yeah, but of course it's up to you if you don't want to wear a headband. If it's nothing like you, if it doesn't scream you, then don't wear it. Don't force yourself to wear things that you are not comfortable in. So here is one of my favorite maxi dresses that you guys may have seen multiple times, whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube. I got this from Shopee also, but of course you can find whatever maxi dress that you have at home. I know for some of you guys this might be a little bit too much for school, but honestly for me, I don't really care because like it's not like I'm disrespecting anyone. It's appropriate for school. I don't think like I'm offending anyone with this outfit. And you know, after the pandemic, I kind of realized that you'll never know when people will see you last. So might as well look pretty and you know, nice every day. It's never wrong to dress up nice. So as you're not wearing a gown to school maybe. But yeah, I think this is perfectly fine. And also disclaimer, I did get this dress altered. I added like a garter over here to cinch my waist because like it used to be like much bigger before. So especially on a day where I'm not really bringing a lot of stuff to school, maybe just like one class or something that happens in college in case you guys didn't know, I would wear this like black bag just to put my wallet and some, I don't know, power bank or something. But I am the studio type in school, don't get me wrong. So here's the next outfit. I know you guys will say, that's too much. But then for me, it's perfectly fine. I'm not breaking any rules whatsoever. This is the fitted dress that I wore on my Instagram. It looks like this. Sorry, don't mind my bloated stomach. But it's like very backless and stuff. So what I would do to be able to wear it to school is to wear like an oversized blazer. Why oversized? First of all, it makes you look cooler. Second, because it is oversized, it's easier for air to come in. So it's not gonna be like super, super hot as compared to like a normal, well-fitted blazer. And it also looks more laid back, a little bit more casual, especially as I paired it with my sneakers, my favorite white sneakers. But of course, this like oversized blazer type of look can work with a skirt as well, in case you guys wanna wear skirts. In DLSU, you're allowed to wear a skirt, as long as the skirt is not too short. So I think this like fit would still work with that. And I think it's super super cute so here is the next outfit but wait for it I haven't styled it yet let me show you how to style it because maxi skirts are a little bit tricky so first with maxi skirts I don't like wearing long sleeves because I feel like it's just too covered up but I mean if that makes you happy then go ahead usually with maxi skirts I pair it with a sleeveless top or like some tube or something but of course since I can't do that with the whole university dress code thing I'll just wear like um 
a fitted top. Since there's a lot of things happening with the skirt already, I mean, it's very eye-catching, it's an accent piece and all. I will want to hide like these like ribbons over here. So now this is what you should never ever do, tuck out a fitted shirt. So I will tuck it in. Voila! It's looking clean, looking neat. At least there's not a lot of things going on with the top anymore. And at the same time, like the accent is like back into the skirt. There's like a balance of like what to highlight, what not to highlight. And at the same time, I kept it fitted since like, you know, maxi skirt. This maxi skirt is like basically going out. And of course, with the skirt, I'd want to pair it with just sneakers so that it's a little bit more dressed down, nothing too much. So the tote bag is not the best option, but if you guys have another bag that fits this, this outfit and color palette or whatever your color palette is then that would be great okay so last but not the least is a jumpsuit the last like probably dress code worthy you know it's very simple so I will not really show how to style it anymore because like you know we don't want something boring so I got another one I have here one of my favorite jumpsuits so I have here a bucket hat because I'll show you guys later how that's gonna work it has like a tube top neckline type of jumpsuit and I know it's kind of like a little bit sleepwear so I'll show you how I can style this and turn it into a dress code worthy outfit okay so here's the last outfit and I know this is not allowed in school for sure and it kind of looks like PJs but let's transform it so first I would add like a denim jacket just because I feel like this matches the whole like very casual vibe and I know like the ribbon over here is loose and it doesn't match the button so maybe I'll tie it once I'll put it at the back and then like tie Maybe a ribbon over here. I just have to make sure that no string is seen so I don't end up looking like a bunny in school. But this is what I would wear. And also just to add like a little bit of spice and coolness to it. I will add this bucket hat that matches my shoes and my jumpsuit. Of course, the hat is not allowed in classes. So whenever you're inside a classroom or whatever lecture it is, then just remove it. This is not my everyday style, but I think this is still like style worthy, I guess. Though I think, okay, maybe the tote bag would be better again for this one. But it's super, super comfortable. The jacket is also a bit thin. If I were you, I would wear like a thin denim jacket just so that it doesn't make you sweat and all. But yeah, once you're outside campus, you can always just remove it and look cool. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this university face-to-face -face classes outfit ideas with dress codes. I will do holiday looks on my Instagram and on YouTube soon, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!